for the sign of Capricorn. Hello and welcome to my channel. Let's see what's going on. We'll see what's coming up for the present time. End of September. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be and then we'll see what the outcome is. So, Capricorn, in the recent past, we've got this beautiful lover's card. Now, it's with the Knight of Swords, which is not bad. So, just know this lover's card is actually associated with the astrological sign of Gemini, the twins. When you get this card in a reading, it's showing that you're feeling really ambivalent about a relationship or a situation in your life. It could have been that your heart was telling you one thing and your head was telling you another. Now, the thing to do within the bounds of your morality is to follow your heart. Some people say that there are only two modes that any of us operate under at any time. And that's either fear or love. So, it's saying that when you can, choose love. Because this lover's card... It means it's a, it's a time that would have brought love in big, bold, capital letters to the center stage of your life. So this would have been either a new relationship or a powerful rebonding of an old one. Either way, you, be, you would have been really happy, quite happy about how romance was going. And others would have noticed how you were glowing in the recent past. Now, it's with the Knight of Swords which actually brings a fairly upbeat, cheerful type of energy. The nights can often mean that someone or something desirable is about to seek you out. It points to your, well, the Knight of Swords, it's a, it's a physical, emotional, and spiritual energy being at a peak. And if you're waiting on news from someone or something, you're likely to like what you hear. The Knight of Swords, it points to a lot of activity. Travel, being out and about, and getting things accomplished. So, with this Nine of Swords, you're not likely to feel like waiting for anything to come to you. And that's going to be a good thing. It's about going after your heart's desire. So, with these two cards paired together, for your recent past, lovers clarified by the Knight of Swords. So, Capricorn, a lot of you had a soulmate you were dealing with. And if it wasn't a soulmate, it was uh, one of those rare, one of those rare relationships, a twin flame. That's what the lover's card is. It's just beautiful. It's falling in love. It's a coming together. It's a union. It's a partnership. It's the strength of two. So, some beautiful love, and you two are always planning to be together, taking action towards each other. Um, Knight of Swords is showing that this person cut out anything just to be with you. You see how he has his huge sword in his hand, and he's racing through whatever, whatever, whoever, well, he's trying to get to you, so he's racing I don't know, it looks like he's in the clouds or in the air, but he's charging through and he's cutting out anything just to be with you. So, you and this person took a lot of action towards each other. And it was beautiful. The strength of two it was a deep partnership. Soulmate or twin flame. Yeah, beautiful in the recent past. And if it wasn't a love interest, when you get the lover's card, it, yes, it can mean that you had some really good opportunity, great opportunity, if it wasn't a love relationship. Because I know a lot of you are saying, oh, when was the last time I had love in my life? That's what a lot of you are thinking. Some of you are saying, well, the recent past must have been <laughs> back in high school <laughs> or many, many, many years ago. But actually, the recent past could have been a week ago. Two months ago, three months ago, six months or more. So, anyway, if you know that this great love was not you, then you experienced some darn good opportunity. Okay? But for most of you Capricorns, you had a, you were dealing with a soulmate. And that's why you guys are always rushing in to be, be together, making plans, and taking action 
fast action towards each other, a soulmate or a twin flame. So that's a beautiful recent past. But let's move on over and let's see what we got coming up for the present time. Now we got the chariot and it's with the two of wands. The chariot, it does indicate a lot of energy. But just know that it's not a free-for-all type of energy. It's directed, it's controlled, and it actually has a goal in mind. So when you get this card in a reading, you're likely to be fairly clear on what your hopes and dreams involve and what you're willing to do to make them come true. Now, the chariot is about, it points to determination, ambition, getting things done, testing and proving that you've got what it takes. It is a sign that you should move forward with whatever is in your mind and in your heart and give it your best shot. But just remember, you're going to have to use both your intellect and your heart in order to be truly successful. Now the chariot with the two of wands. Now when you get this card, it's kind of like trying to keep your balance in every way that you can. Even to the mundane, boring things like eating right, getting enough rest. This two of wands, it does indicate a partnership with another person. So this could be business, it could be personal, or it could be both. But it reminds us to stay mindful to the give and take that's required for successful relationships. And if things are feeling out of balance for you now, just know that they're about to get substantially better. But it's all about keeping your eyes on the prize. Yeah, you see how he's, the two of wands is the card below the word present. He's keeping his eyes on the prize. You see how he's looking into the eyes of that bird? He's got a wand on the right and a wand on the left. He's more focused on the wand where his ankle is tied to the wand. And he's kind of got his back turned to the other wand, but his hand is tied to the wand. So it's, it's about trying to make a decision. So you could be feeling this way. Um, you could be feeling this way, Capricorn, and you're trying to make a decision. You could have more than one option towards a future. Two options to, towards a future. Uh, like I said, so, yeah, you're trying to make a decision. You have some things in mind with this chariot here. And you, can't, you want it to happen, like, right away, but you can't. Because you got, you got your hand tied to something, and your ankle is tied to something else. But you're ready. You're ready for things to happen really fast. Really fast. But you need to make a decision. Two paths, two options towards the future. You could be trying to decide on a situation or... Maybe you're dealing with two people. Yeah, so you can't make up your mind, but you're ready. You're ready to decide really fast, or you want things to happen really fast. But you just can't make up your mind. You got a plan and a goal and a dream. You're determined about someone, but you don't know which one yet. Could be a situation, or it could be two people, or is it something going on, something's going on that you need to make a decision on. And it's showing that once you do, things are going to take off really fast for you, really fast. The chariot goes 100 miles an hour or more, but you got to make a decision. Now... Let's find out what the challenge is. We got this Knight of Wands and the Ace of Cups. The Knight of Wands is showing you it's a great time for travel if you can manage to get away. It's about feeling charged up, full of energy, ready to get things done. Your self confidence is increasing, and this should help you reach towards your goals. The Knights are often message bearers. So it looks like, yeah, somebody is trying to reach out to you. The messages are likely positive, very positive. And if you have any projects, they're more successful 
than you would have expected or predicted. And you're going to have a lot of reasons to feel pride. That's what the Knight of Wands is. Now, because of the Ace of Cups, Cups, which is a very powerful, positive card in the tarot, when it comes to love, happiness, and affection, like all the Aces, it's about new beginnings. And although it usually means love, it usually means love. It can indicate new beginnings in other areas of your life. Things are looking up. People will, re people will respond to you with love, happiness, and goodwill more than usually at this time. So you'll be feeling really good about life overall. It's also a great time to make friends when you get the Ace of Cups. So Capricorn, I'm showing that you're you're dealing with someone that's like this Knight of Wands. They're fearless, they're brave. This person could be a Aries Leo Sagittarius. I'm getting a couple of storylines, though, for this challenge. But anyway, for most of you, you're dealing with someone like this Knight of Wands. They're kind of in and out. This person is trying to reach out to you, or they will be reaching out to you. But you know that they're in and out, okay? Um, Knight of Wands is kind of known as the player, so they don't really stick around. Okay, so... This is the first storyline. You're dealing with this in and out type of person. Um, they'll be reaching out to you. But it looks like um, because with the Ace of Cups, you probably have a hard time trying to figure out if this person really is interested in you because of their energy. They don't really stick around. But because with the Ace of Cups, this person... Um, they actually have a lot of deep attraction for you and warmth. And this person has, uh, they have emotions for you. Yeah, this person, they either, they either like you a lot or they love you. It's about a new beginning when you get the ace in a reading. So this person could want a new beginning with you. That's the first storyline. Now, the second storyline that I'm getting is that you could be this Knight of Wands type of energy. You could have one foot in and one foot out with someone that you're dealing with because you're ready for a new beginning. New beginning in love and life. You're looking for happiness somewhere else so you only got one foot in and one foot out you're ready for a new beginning because i'm looking at this challenge here not the challenge i'm looking at that was a challenge but i'm looking at the outcome there's another ace there it's about new beginnings so let's talk about that but anyway those are the two storylines that i get for the challenge okay it's hard to get um, exact stories because these readings are general and they're not personal readings. So you kind of have to take these um, readings however it resonates because they're not personal readings. They're general for a lot of people. So I had to give you the two storylines that kept coming to my head. But let's move on over and let's see what the challenge is going to be. Like I said, we got this Ace of Wands. The Ace is about new beginnings. Now, it's with the Three of Cups. And now, the Ace of Wands, they're very positive. The Wands are in the realm of accomplishments, and it could be related to work, career, or romance, and... If you're having a difficult time, just know that things are about to get better really soon. Because if you look at this wand, it looks like it's just sitting above the clouds, but it's, it's, it's not. It burst really fast above the clouds. So things could turn around for the better really soon if things are not going like you like them. 
Ace of Wands, it's about being upbeat, optimistic, hopeful about the future with a good cause. So, it's about feeling energetic, positive, or, like I said, you'll be feeling that way soon. This Ace, it tells you that now is a really good time to start something new. Now, it's with this Three of Cups. Three of Cups is a card about reunions. The reunion can be in the broadest sense of running back into or meeting up with someone or something that you've been away from for a long time. It's considered to be a really happy, a really happy reunion. Very upbeat. It can also mean some type of celebration, your own or someone that you care about. Maybe celebrating a new baby, a wedding, or some type of really, really happy occasion. Because if you look at the card, you see how these three people, they're jumping up in the air, they're toasting their wine or their champagne, and they're so happy. They don't care they're about to land into a lake. They don't care. They're just so happy. They don't care where they land. Rejoice, happiness, friendship. Now, just a little side note about this Three of Cups. Like I said, it, it is about reunions. Now, although this card, it means reunion, it means a reunion, it could be with a long lost love. It could be. Yeah, because for like I said, for a lot of you, you've only got one foot in and one foot out with whoever you're dealing with. And you're looking for a new beginning. Now, it could be with someone, a new beginning, or rekindling a connection with a long lost love. That might feel like a new beginning to some of you. Because I know a lot of you are still holding on to your past. So you got two new beginnings here. Two new beginnings. Very powerful, positive ones. Now, this outcome, because it's the Ace of Wands and clarified by the Three of Cups. So a lot of you just, you got some type of happy, maybe, situation that's coming in. But it's about a reunion. So I'm going to say it's, for a lot of you, it's about a, someone returning. Somebody who's been away for a long time. And it's going to make you really happy. Really happy. And it's going to feel like, wow, this is a fresh new start. It could, if you're no longer with this person, this, this lover's card, this lover, lover's card that we talked about, if you're no longer with this person from the recent past, um, it could be them. Because like I said, the recent past could have been a week ago, a month ago, three months ago, or more. They could be returning. Yeah, I know most of you don't want to hear about anybody returning, but it's some type of reunion. Three of Cups can be a long lost love. You know, somebody may be coming back, and it's going to be beautiful. It's going to feel like a fresh new start. And if it's not a person, it can be a situation. Something that's going to make you want to celebrate and jump for joy. Yeah, maybe something that you didn't think could ever happen. And it comes back around, and then it makes you feel fabulous. Yeah, it could be a situation, it could be a person. 